This is called a uh, firefighter turnout cup. You can also use this for the police officers if you want to do um, a black paint instead of um, this brown paint. But um, I didn't know this until my friend asked me to make a tumbler for her. Um, that they call the firefighters um, those big heavy looking canvas uniforms. They call those turnouts. Um, I'm used to the military where they call them like BDUs, battle dress uniforms. But um, so these are apparently they call them turnouts. So she wanted me to make him a turnout cup, and she had sent me a picture that was real similar to this. Um, but I did not have any iridescent vinyl, and I didn't want to order some online. And also wrapping vinyl around um, a tumbler like this, um, you kind of need to warp it, you know, because um, I don't know if y'all have tried to wrap anything straight around this. It doesn't always go straight. So, um, um, so I sat down and it took me several weeks to figure it out, but I finally figured it out. Um, and I, I'm using this, uh, color shift paint from, um, I think you can get this at Michael's. Some of the Joann's has it, I think, um. Some Walmarts carry it too. Um, there's a link to all of the supplies, and so I've linked it on Amazon. But it's a whole set of color shifts. So if you don't want to buy the whole color shift, you can just get one of these at Walmart or um, Michaels. You can use your coupon. So I think it's like maybe two dollars total after your coupon or something. So this one is called Yellow Flash, and it gives it a really good holographic. Um, like if you ordered it on um, ordered some holographic vinyl um, so I think that this this method works great he loved it he's already dropped it he had it for a few months and dropped it so I think I'm, I'm redoing it for him um, and so I think I'm gonna send um, the next one I give him with this this black rubber bumper and then that way if he drops it maybe it because it, he dropped it on and it landed on the corner um, because he's a firefighter and they're, they're rough, right? So um, I got these from Stainless Depot, but a lot of other places carry these. These are just a silicone bumper. I called it rubber, silicone. And um, they fit all sorts of shapes of tumblers because they stretch. But I don't like taping my um, cups off on the bottom. I will if I absolutely have to, but I usually epoxy right before I go to bed and so it's hard to um, come back in if, if I'm going to sleep and pull the tape. So, so you can see these work on a bunch of different size tumblers. So it just kind of helps protect the bottom. And I'm, there's different colors, all sorts of different colors available. So yeah, I think I'm going to send one of these with him next time. Okay, so I hope y'all can hear me. <laughs> if y'all can hear me, send me a thumbs up or something. So, um, this is the tumbler. Um, I painted it just before the live. Um, and so, what we will do is, um, we're gonna, I'm going to sh show you how to do all of this, but I'm going to give you a little peek. When you pull this, can you see how that um, yellow, sorry my dogs, they want to be in here and then they don't. <laughs> So can you see how that yellow is going to look real holographic? Good. Thank you, Kimberly. Um, so that's this paint. So we're pretty much peekaboo in this tumbler so that we don't have to buy vinyl. Um, and if you want to find um, like really good reflective vinyl, you can, um, but I don't I struggled with trying to figure out how could I get the vinyl to wrap around without without warping it um, and so this was just my my solution so this is what we're gonna see today so there's a supply list um, in the event for this time this tutorial but um, and I will go back after it's over and, and link the supply list to um, to this actual live so um, 
we're gonna let this sit over here and dry a little bit more because I just painted it and um, we're gonna get started so you need you don't have to have this is um, Carline fluorescent um, you don't have to have it but if you wanted to um, maybe speed up the painting process if you put this down after your your base coat then um, it would go ahead and get the tumbler yellow when you started so I, I wouldn't go out and buy it just for this just um, you know I mean if you're gonna do a bunch like if, if the whole station wants some you might but this is just a small shortcut um, that you would put on top of your prep, your white prep um, I wouldn't paint it directly on the stainless steel I feel like um, it's not it doesn't have primer in it I would put the primer down first the white primer and then do this and I'm actually did it on on that one I didn't do it on the first one I did So you will need this Krylon. This is ultra flat camouflage. I bought this one at, I feel like I bought this one at Lowe's. Um, I think Home Depot only sells Rust-Oleum, um, but it's flat. This is their camouflage. Um, their camouflage um, line. It's called Camouflage Khaki and there's a link to it in the supplies. Um, it's perfect for their turnouts. Um, some company, some firefighters have black turnouts, and so you could use a black, a black paint as well. I would use some sort of matte or flat black paint. And there's also, I haven't made one yet, there's also a real pretty reflective blue that you could use. And so you could do this whole method with blue and do a police officer um, one as well. So, um... Uh, it's on my list of things to do, so I would use um, the blue paint and the black spray paint on that one. So um, this is not just firefighters. If you if you wrap your head around, okay. So um, if you have a female firefighter who wants glitter, you could peekaboo with um, a really bright yellow glitter. Um, this one's glitter emergency. It's called softball yellow. Um, I haven't done one yet. But um, you could probably find a really bright glitter to use on a female's. So um, it's it's pretty bright. I don't know if, if that's what they would want, but um, I just that was the brightest yellow that I had. So I was gonna show you that one. So we're not using glitter on this tumbler. <laughs> so you'll need the paint, and again, this is folk art color shift. These are the same thing. This was just almost empty, so I grabbed this one. You need some sort of paintbrush, some electrical tape for the peekaboo of the stripes, some scissors, some sort of way to pick the um, the vinyl off once we're ready to do the actual peekaboo, and you'll need your name. So this one is has been warped. I used um. Silhouette of the business edition to warp it and then I saved it and pulled it over into My Cricut because I can't get my business edition or my silhouette to not think this was a print then cut because I'm still learning um, So if anybody wants to give me some tutorials on silhouette, I would love that so um the 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 tumbler she sent me as inspiration had the name really really big so if you're going to put the name really, really big on the bottom of the cup and it's not a skinny, you have to warp it. If not, the name will, will just kind of go out, go out this way because the tumbler is a cone shape, so you have to warp it. So I warp it to where um, it sits right on that little crease line. You all see that? So Disney is the name of um, one of my firefighter friends, so I'm making him a cup. If you're wondering, well, I'm not, I'm not making a Disney World firefighter cup. <laughs> so um, you can see how this, this decal is going to line up right with the bottom line there, so I can keep it straight. Okay, so warping is a whole different tutorial. We haven't done one of those yet. There's a lot of them on YouTube on how to warp the... Um, um, the the image, the cut file or whatever. 
So um, that, I'm not teaching y'all how to do that. If you don't want to warp it, then you can make their name a lot smaller and just stick it right here. Maybe just in vinyl. But peekabooing, the bigger um, the letters are, the better it is for the peekaboo. So you're going to need some temporary vinyl. And I think that's all the supplies. Okay. So to get started, you need to... And if you want to, you can just stick your paintbrush directly in the in the paint. Um, you don't have to pour it out onto a plate or something. I think I'm going to put some in here just so y'all can see it better. And so the beauty about peekaboo um, is that you only have to paint where you know you're going to have your vinyl. Yeah, that's getting real low. So we don't have to paint this entire cup yellow if we don't want to. We just paint where we know we're going to have um, the peekaboo exposed. Let's see if we can... Drop some in there. So again, this is the Color Shift Folk Art Yellow Flash, and I'm pretty sure I bought this at Michael's. Okay, let me grab a football. So, when I'm looking at this tumbler here that's, that's finished and ready to be exposed, um, I need yellow here and here. So, I'm pretty much going to paint like all of this chunk yellow just to make sure that um, I don't leave anything um, un, un yellow. And then down here, I'm probably just going to paint a good swath just to make sure, because these letters are taller, because um, Eric's name is super long, <laughs> and these le these letters here are taller, so I want to make sure I paint enough that will cover all of these letters. So um, this paint, you're going to have to do two or three coats of it, especially if you don't do the... Um, If you don't do the yellow base, so you just you're just gonna paint it and then um, sit it down and come back in a, in a couple minutes. Well, about probably an hour or so. I mean, and you can work on these over a few days too. So don't put it on so thick that you get the streaks. So if you use the blue um, color shift or um, metallic shift paint, and um, I bought it at Michael's, I wish I'd brought it in here, then I would just do this step with the blue for a police officer. Or um, if you don't want to do the stripes, you can put um, a different SVG file, like um, a different cut file, like a badge or um, their number or some sort of um, patriotic or uh, back the blue type um, police supporting or firefighter supporting logo. But um, my friend wanted the stripes and so that's what we made. Okay, so that's coat number one. So, um, <laughs> we figured it out. Okay, so um, this is where the stripes will be up here. So I'll come back and do at least one, if not in two more coats. So then down here I'm going to do the same thing. And I want to make sure that I'm, I'm painting everywhere that there's going to be a decal. Like a peekaboo decal. Because this is what will be, sh be coming through.
So this paint goes on really well. And again, I would do a base coat of white. And then if you wanted to do the base coat of um, the fluorescent yellow, you can. Um, but it's not required. But I, I would not put this directly on the stainless. I feel like it would, it would affect the color. And then if you're going to do anything cute, peekaboo on the bottom, like their number, you would want to paint down here too. I haven't, I haven't done that. I might do that for um, Disney's. But you don't have to paint the whole thing. Only paint where you know you're going to be peekabooing. Okay. So that's the paint portion. This painted one's just going to sit and dry for a little while. And then I'll come back and do at least one more coat, if not two. So you'll be able to tell when you get that that look enough where you're ready to do the peekaboo. Okay. So <clears throat> so I don't have one ready at that point. So I'm just going to go through the motions on this blank one so you guys can see how I do it. Okay. So I don't know if I'll need this or not. I'm just going to grab it anyway. Okay, so to do the lines, and this is what where it stuck me because I was just starting to make cups, and I didn't know how to make those lines straight, so I figured this out, and then later on I figured out this is how a lot of people do their stripes. Um, so um, this is electrical tape. So I'm going to pull a big strand of it off. Uh, I want it long enough to go all the way around that tumbler. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, and just to tip, that little first part kind of gets stretched out. So cut that little first flap off and that way it's not, it's not stretched out. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to line it up with the top of the tumbler so that I can keep my line straight. So this would be an, on an already painted, and um, I also, I put in a coat of epoxy. I put a coat of epoxy over all of this before I do my taping, um, and that way the tape does not pull the paint off. So um, I have to wait a good day and let that epoxy cure. Um, that way I don't have to worry about my electrical tape pulling my paint off. So we're pretending that this has um, the paint and a layer of, of cured epoxy on it. Okay, so um, I, I put this tape around the top edge of that cap because what I'm trying to do is get a, get a straight line for here. Trying to get it to where y'all can still see. So this is where I feel like if I had vinyl, I don't know if I could wrap a piece of vinyl around here straight. I might be able to, uh, but I feel like I would be touching touching it a lot and pulling it up a lot and it might come up. This is my, this is my thoughts. So I didn't want to order a bunch of um, holographic vinyl because that stuff's expensive and pay shipping um, when I could do it this way. So I'm going to just tuck this under so that I can pull it off easy here in a minute. And then I'm going to repeat that step and I'm going to put a line here. And if you want to use um, painter's tape that's wider, you can. Um, it just doesn't bend as well and it has creases. So when you do your um, brown spray paint, it might seep in. <clears throat> I, I have I found that the painter's tape doesn't let it seep or the electrical tape. So now I'm just lining that electrical tape up. I'm going to cut this little top because it's, a lot of times it's stretched out. Yikes. I'm just going to restart over that one. So you don't want to um, 
pull too hard on this because it, it kind of gets it all warped and um, makes it not not do what you're intending on it doing. Hopefully that's long enough. So I'm just lining this up right up next to the one above it. So the sole purpose of the one above it is to um, give me a straight line on this one. Make sure you can still see. I'm trying to put it in the camera for you guys. So this piece here will actually be what we use when we peekaboo, the second line. And so there's a teeny tiny little um, spot where it's sticking out. So if, if, if I'm OCD, I can get a, uh, an X-Acto knife and try to trim that off. Just so it's, um, it's even right there. So now I am done with this top piece of electrical tape. Its purpose has been served. And I can go ahead and pull that off. So if you look at this one, there's tape here and there's tape here. So I'm going to put one more piece of electrical tape here for a spacer. And then the last piece of electrical tape will go here. Sure, don't move the camera again. <laughs> okay, any questions so far? So this is how a lot of people um, tape off their stripe tumblers. When they do a stripe tumbler, they do this same exact thing where they, they start at the edge and they work their way down. I feel like there's red glitter under there. <clears throat> so two more pieces. And these are pretty long. I think I did one the other day and it wasn't long enough. And if you wanted to put like um some um some uh, electrical tape, this is wider. A little bit wider to make make the space in between those wider you can it just doesn't it doesn't go around the cup as easy so I'm not worried about where that little um, piece got real fat because I'm gonna pull this one off here in a second so I don't want to try to cut that part right there Last piece. So after you put the tape down, you're going to want to go and um, spray paint it pretty quickly um, because the, the temporary vinyl for the name, if you're using the peekaboo method for the name, um, the sooner you can pull it, the better you are. but easier it wants to come up. Okay, so we're done with this, this middle piece. And it would, I would say you could reuse this, but I've kind of stretched it out and 
made it a little bit off from the way it originally was, so um, it's not, I don't like to reuse it. I buy a crap ton of electrical tape from Harbor Freight, so um, I'm not worried about the waste on that. Okay, so there was a tiny little bit of um, the edge of that tape sticking out, so if I'm, if I want to, I can get the X-Acto knife and trim that too, because you will see that under the peekaboo. But if you're not worried about it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't risk trim, cutting into the epoxy or anything because of it. But that's how you would do it if you were, if you were kind of OCD. So, um, this will be the two exposed yellow stripes where the black is. So then you put your name, and if you can figure out how to warp it so that it sits right around that line, it makes it so much easier. So um, I take the backing off part of the first letter. And if y'all watched my Chevron tutorial a couple of nights ago, I, I learned this, I taught myself this. So you can lay it out first before you mash it down. So I kind of lay out the whole, let the whole name right around that bottom line, and then once I know it's down, it's where I want it. I can not move it. Then I'll mash that, that first letter down. So then I just come and pull, pull that and mash the decal as I go. So if you did your name a lot smaller, you wouldn't have to do all this. You could you could even put the, the name on it after, but your um, vinyl probably won't match that paint. So that's just things that. And this is, um, doing it this way is trial and error, so you don't want to waste a bunch of expensive um, holographic vinyl. So that's why I like doing it this way. I feel like it's more cost effective. So because I'm about to take, in theory, if this was um, had the yellow paint on it, I would be taking this outside and spray painting it um, that khaki color. So um, I want to make sure that all of the letters are mashed down because I don't want any paint to get up underneath it. So I would mash them down really well. Make sure your hands are good and clean because you don't want the oils from your hands messing it up because you can't really clean it very well after you do this. Same thing up here. So now this would be ready to go and spray paint. So my tip on this is um, make sure you get a really good coat of this on top of the yellow because if there's any yellow kind of see if you can see any yellow through um it kind of looks like you burnt your epoxy later because the, the way the yellow and the brown mix it looks almost burnt and so there was a tiny little spot on the bottom of the first one that i made um that that yellow was peeking through just a, just a hair and i thought i had burned the epoxy but then um as that would have been a first time that i had burned the epoxy and I was like, well, how appropriate for a firefighter, you know. But um, then I realized that that one little tiny spot didn't get enough brown on it. So that would be my advice when you paint it is make sure um, that you get, get a good coverage um, over that yellow. And that way it's not seeping through and looking kind of burnt, an ugly burnt, not like a good firefighter burnt. So um, that's pretty much how you put your decal. So I've got side. 
spray paint it really well try not try your best not to get any runs since this is ultra flat it does really well but you can still get runs and you, you will be able to see those runs under the epoxy so do your best to um, not over spray it come back in 10 minutes and spray it a little bit more um, so that that's how you would do that so do we have any questions so now I'm about to peekaboo or expose the peekaboo on this one kind of see well I was gonna say you could see how the here it is you can kind of see the warp in that that um, stencil you know it was curved because if it if it wasn't if you didn't warp the name I'll show you just with the straight piece what happens if you didn't warp it so pretend this was some um, vinyl when I lay it down this is what a straight piece of vinyl wants to do because it's not warped so up here even if I bought some real pretty um vinyl um, I might be able to just cover the whole top and then peekaboo with it but um if I wanted to make the actual stripes out of the vinyl I would need to warp the stripes as well so that's why I like this method I hope that makes sense I had no idea that all this was a thing a year ago when I started. <laughs> okay, so now it's time to um, expose the peekaboo. So um, about two o'clock. So um, this has been made not even an hour and a half. This has probably been been sitting for an hour and a half. So um, the sooner I say the sooner the better. You don't want to let this sit for several days um, because it'll start to pull your paint off. So I'm going to slowly pull and I'm pulling slowly for a couple of reasons. I don't want, if the paint does come with the decal, I want to stop it and try to mash it back down in two. I don't want to pull too hard because there is epoxy under here. So this one actually has epoxy underneath it. Um, so I don't want to pull the epoxy off either. So this is just like any kind of mermaid peekaboo you would be doing. So this painter's tape works really well. Or um, electrical tape, I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep saying that. So I can get a little bit closer while I do it. So, um, if you were to try to grab that with your, um, with your weeding tool, you will scratch the paint. So when you go to take the letters off the bottom, you have to be super careful not to scratch the paint. So that's the first stripe. So I put these on um, just a few hours ago and I spray painted it right before the live. So this is just like any peekaboo that you guys are already making. 
there's our two. So if you wanted to go back, um, cause some people like to have a black line here in the middle. Um, I found some really pretty black paint that I was going to try. Um, but it's not necessary. He liked it like this. So, um, you know, he was fine with it like that. So now I need to get the letters off without scratching the paint. Let's see if we can get that. So, um, I feel like I can touch it now. Any questions? No questions. Okay. So I'm just going to try to grab the very end of that letter. See if I can ask it to please come up. Just like a mermaid scale or any kind of other peekaboo you would do. If you let your paint dry too much, it'll try to come up with the um, with the decal. So that's it. That's your firefighter turnout cup. So you can totally change up the colors. So if, if your firefighters have black turnouts, you can change this to a black matte spray paint. Um, or you could do black and then blue color shift um, paint for a police officer. But yeah, so um, and I know there's there's more than one way to do this tumbler. This is just how I did it, and um, I feel like it was pretty cheap because all I needed was the paint, electrical tape, and a little bit of um, of temp vinyl. So as far as supplies go, it really didn't cost me a lot. So do y'all have any questions? That's it. That's, that's pretty much all of it. Hey Kim. So will I mine be all paint when finished? You, yours looked amazing. I want to see how you did yours because if it's any easier than mine, we need to know how you did yours. Um, will mine be all paint when finished? Use vinyl. But paint would definitely mean no worries about the vinyl lifting. Yes, correct. So because um, this is a peekaboo, um, I don't have to worry about the letters peeling up or this, this vinyl peeling up, especially if I had to manipulate it to get the line straight um, and I was having to pull it back up a lot, trying to get those lines straight, then um, yes, you don't have to worry about that. Um, you know, it's just... Um, they they wanted their names pretty big, so um I had the the warping of the name is the most the biggest challenge. Um, I'm still learning the warp feature, um and each tumbler each brand of tumbler is a different different um cone in the math and the measurements and stuff. So um that's the biggest challenge is getting getting that name per, pretty pretty good and around see it's not perfect but um i don't think they're going to notice yeah so yeah it's pretty much all paint so when you go to do um epoxy there's only one layer of epoxy underneath um on top of this yellow paint so i would do two coats of epoxy on top of this um for for um stability you really need three three coats of typical epoxy um, the, um, uh, counterculture epoxy is so thick, um, that two coats on it might be enough, but I use FX premium, which is not, I don't think is as thick as counterculture. So I try to do at least three coats on every cup that I send out, but he's already dropped the first one that I gave him. So um, I'm going to send this black silicone bumper. 
that I got um, at Stainless Depot. I'm going to send that with his cup. Um, so maybe if he drops it again, it might protect it. So, but um, I don't mind making him another one. He's um, a firefighter and he's my friend and he's awesome. So um, I'll make him as many tumblers as he needs. But yeah. So that's how I do my turnout cups. Took me a while to wrap my head around it. Um, but uh, I finally got it done and gave it to her, I think, on Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, it was a Valentine's gift for him. And so um, I barely got it done, but I did.